Well, hello. Welcome to my basement. They are doing road construction outside right now, and I was going to film last night, but uh, of course it sounded like World War II because uh, all the fireworks and stuff, so here I am in the basement. Um, so what I want to talk to you today about is this uh, Central Pen 3770 or Techno Export, which was apparently their name when they would export these pens to the West. So, uh, yeah, this is a Czechoslovakian pen, and uh, it was donated to the channel, so let's dive into it. All right, so we have here a Techno Export. That was the uh, name under which Centro pens were sold to the Western market. We'll just take a closer look. Techno Export. Got a clip. Thingy. Thingy. When I say thingy, uh, there's nothing there on the finials. I'm sorry. Uh, and then here, oh, so we're also branded for selling in the Eastern market. So it says Central Pen 3770. Open it up. Kind of of two minds of this. My first thought when I saw it was the Parker 21. And then as I, 21, right? Anyway, this pet. <clears throat> whatever it is I will overlay with the actual correct model number but I was thinking the nib reminded me of that till I actually got them side by side and I'm like nope <laughs> so uh it maybe it reminds me of those v nibs from the from the early Cavecos I don't know Sort of stumpy. But anyway, it's it's a steel nip. Open this bit up. Kind of grinds when I do that. And I have kind of the a typical thing you'll see in Eastern European pens. Or central or whatever. Alright, so we'll open this up. Let's give it a nice drink of capitalist ink. Okay, um, unexpected because I cleaned it out and it was working earlier. <laughs> that is a tight bugger. And I swear I have screwed this down already, so I'm not sure what's going on. Um, but I will also tell you that these things are buggers to get out. If there is something wrong with yours, which I have a couple projects where they are, uh, often these converters are glued in so that makes them very difficult to get out so here's hoping that a little lubrication from some ink will help it okay we got a decent fill but let's uh run it down the pole again <laughs> almost had a inky disaster good thing the ink is washable right that is not amazing So then, oh yeah, much smoother now. So the next thing you see, and it may actually be Noodler's Rattler Eel Red, because it's supposed to lubricate the pen parts. I'm not sure how that works when you wash the pen out when you're done, but, you know, whatever. All right. So it got smoother with time. So it must be when I cleaned it out when I got it, it smoothed it, it uh, lubricated with the water and pen flush and all that so we got a decent we got a really good fill actually let's be honest and oh <laughs> we made a bit of a mess <laughs> okay <laughs> I don't think I've done that before on this channel, so you got to see it first there. Oh, and we got a splash over here too, off screen. There we go. All right. <laughs> now let's see how it writes. <laughs> One thing I forgot to mention. That comes comes off pretty easily. Goes back on pretty easily. Well, uh, here's me capping it. Here's me uncapping it. 
definite click, but a subtle click. All right, the ink in it, of course, is Parker Quink. I guess I've got room to write it. Washable blue. Um, it seems to be fairly smooth on the paper. Not amazing, but smooth. Um, a little flex to it. Let's call it line variation more than flex, but it's there. Wetness and flow. I don't know why it skipped there. That might have been my fault. Seems to manage a good continuous line. Smear test. Yeah, that was actually wetter than I expected. We'll test reverse writing. A little scratchy, but an extra fine. And finally, the world famous Pierre Gustafson test. I think that was my fault. A little light right there, but otherwise pretty good. Let's just make sure that was my fault. Hmm. No, that time I know it wasn't my fault. Let's do it one more time just for. So one of the limitations of these first impressions is sometimes a pen just needs time for the feed to get saturated with ink. But uh, yeah, tough start, tough start, no problem. But you also saw up here in the writing, I was blaming myself, but that might have been the pen. So this is why I filmed the writing sample and the talking part usually several weeks apart. So I'll let you know in the talking part if that's a thing with this pen or if that was just a new ink jitters thing. So that was my Techno Export slash Central Pen 3770. Um, <laughs> again, I'm sorry about the basement, but uh, it was the only part of my house that has been quiet enough for anything. They are doing road work out there, and uh, last night, of course, was the fireworks. So... As far as the pen, I'm going to have to give it a little help here because I have one hand that is not free. <laughs> and I have a... Yeah. Anyway, it slips on reasonably easily. Uh, I didn't lift the clip at all. It just kind of slipped on when I, you know, manipulated it properly. But I, d I did not lift the clip at all. So pretty good for that part. I actually enjoyed writing with it. It's not... It's not like one of these pens where you're like, whoa, that was an amazing writing experience. This is one of those pens where you're like, yeah, I got my writing. To oh, yeah, I guess I used a Techno Export. You know, it, it just kind of disappears in your hand. And uh, I think that's a good pen when you're just like, I like this. <laughs> so, yeah, I like this pen. Um, a favorite? No. But a good pen? Absolutely, yes. Uh, one thing I'm going to do with this pen is I'm going to use some uh, a lubricated ink like Rattler e Noodler's Rattler Eel Red or was it Green Cactus Eel? Anyway, they, those are uh, lubricated inks which help, help lubricate the pen parts. And yeah, the piston is a bit sticky. And one of the problems with these particular filling mechanisms is it's really hard to get in there and fix them. So, uh... Yeah, I'm working with that a little bit. <laughs> but anyway, I hope that was interesting. Hope it was useful. I want to thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.